This movie tells a story about Crypto the Super Dog and Superman who are inseparable best friends. They're sharing the same superpowers and fighting crime side by side in Metropolis. However, Crypto must master his own powers for a rescue mission when Superman is kidnapped. First of all, this movie is an attempt to piggyback off of the success of DC's Justice League characters. Unfortunately, it falls short of adding anything meaningful to the Warner Bros. repertoire other than cash dollars in merchandising. Some adorable animals and a snarky sense of humor about superheroes are not quite enough to save the day with this movie, as the plot quickly settles for a familiar storyline among animated features involving pets. The story is unoriginal and downright predictable. Crypto's own arc hits plenty of familiar beats. The script is wrote and it relies heavily on the supporting cast to elevate the material with their energetic voice work. Its predictability and easy humor falls awfully short. Younger audiences will probably enjoy the action and humor more. On the other hand, adults will likely struggle with the movie. The movie runs at 106 minutes long, but it feels longer as some padded out moments could have used some trimmings. The movie is giving us an irreverent comic book adventure that both mock genre cliches and imagines how animals would behave if they were superheroes. In small increments, this premise can be rewarding, but underneath its clever conceit, this movie doesn't have much new to offer. What should have been an ingenious concept highlighting all new characters with talented voice actors and a few amusing jokes is a soulless and tedious expenditure lacking in originality. Apart from a few lively voice performances, the movie stumbles and falls in nearly every other area. The animation is typically flat, uninspired, and doesn't come alive enough. Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart have their usual working chemistry together, although they don't exactly have much of anything funny to do. Not being on the screen together in body and voice makes their byplay a little less enjoyable. There's no change on their dynamic as it mostly remains the same with Kevin Hart acting as the punching back for mostly lame jokes. There are not enough big emotional moments or memorable talk between them to really make their bond endearing. There are bittersweet life lessons regarding the passage of time and the shifting nature of friendships in Crypto's arc. Unfortunately, neither the humor nor the pathos is especially sharp. The movie treads narrative water as the film progresses into the third act. It loses steam as the joke barrage runs out of ammo. The movie eventually becomes the latest picture in which characters use their exceptional powers to battle one another in a dull final face off. Overall, this movie is a mediocre film in terms of quality among this year's mainstream animated films. The voice performers do a commendable job of trying to breathe life into the adorable little characters, but the film's humor and the story never fully connect as they should. It's eminently forgettable and it's not really worth your time to watch this. We do not recommend this movie at all.